Shoot, ready? Shoot. Hey, what's up, guys? Just wanted to go over my GF3 AK from Palmetto State Armory. Overall, works as should. Super fun. I got some type of wood version with the cheese grater top and side folding stock, and I put a real Cobra on it. Uh, the Cobra's pretty cool. Look for the, uh, I'll be showing the different types of reticles, but really the only one that is useful is the dot. Uh, they say they hold zero whenever you switch out the reticles, but that's not really true. And the T1 from the, from like Battlefield that you're used to seeing, it's cap, it's dog shit. Uh, and it also sucks because once you put the Cobra on, you lose the ability to have a side folder, but it's pretty fun. This is like my cool 1980s AK. Um, it's pretty neat, I, but I don't know if it's really worth it or not. The Cobra kind of sucks. So I wanted to go over the different reticles on the Cobra. So there's the dot. Looks more crisp than that. It's just the camera. And then if you switch it, there's the chevron. Probably can't really see it that well. Chevron with a dot. And then you have the T. And what's also terrible about these is that the way you adjust them you use this dial, but the dial, the dial only works so far. So you have to loosen it, move the cap in order to make more rotation. So it's a real pain in the ass to zero. Uh, overall, pretty neat optic, but not great at all. The Cobra also sits way too high. So you lose your cheek weld on the optic. So when you start shooting fast, it makes it really violent and a lot harder to control the recoil and actually get good shots on target. Shoot, ready? Ready. Shoot. Shoot, ready? ready? Shoot. Also, I did go out to the 300 meter range and got good hits with the Cobra at 200 meters on a five inch steel plate, pretty consistent. And also at 300 meters on a five inch steel plate. I had a couple of misses, but I think that was just due to my ammo that I was using. Overall, pretty good setup.